Hi everyone, it's Gail, and it's a bonus video today. I have uh, a bunch of things going up on my Etsy, and I also wanted to show you the six journals I completed at my retreat and a few other things. But uh, first of all, these two Alice journals are going to be going on up on my Etsy. My Etsy is Cinnamon Tea. And there's always a link in the description box below. So those are going. Then um, I completed these three uh, ephemera, huge ephemera packs. Whole bunches of ephemera in these. And um, yeah, so those three are going to be going up on my Etsy too. But the main reason I wanted to get together today is I wanted to show you all the journals that I made at the retreat. So I'm going to do a quick flip through of all of them. Let's see. Maybe I can move down a little bit so that you can see. Okay. So this one, I used the uh, digital from my favorite ephemera. I think the digital is wallpaper or something like that. So, um, so collage cover sewn, it's got, um, fabric tape on it. So it, it makes a real nice feel for it. And we'll just, we'll just flip through all these. This is one of the Roxy creation pieces that provides all sorts of journaling space inside. That is in the front pocket. Um, and yeah, I had such a, such a fun time making all these journals. So this little belly band idea is awesome. And it was from my friend Sue at the retreat. So you open this up and look, a whole bunch of journaling space. Isn't that cool? So yeah, I had to, I had to, she gave me one that she had made for my um, idea journal and I made this one right away so I'd kind of get it, get it in my brain. So thank you, Sue. Sue watches my video, she said. So I am really pleased to have gotten to meet her. This is an envelope from, and it's just got coffee dyed paper in it it's from the it's from the digital kit some ledger paper my friend bobby gave me some awesome awesome ledger paper and um the other gals that make journals she gave it them some too collage page lace on the edges this is a uh, roxy's weekly challenge piece that goes in there in that little tuck and the tuck is because this sack was a bit too big to fit but now we've got extra journaling space here and behind it and then this little piece again this is a Roxy Creations um, piece and it's great because I had all kinds of things to work with in my journals little doily isn't that gorgeous? I just love this digital. Um, this little pocket has some faux old tape that Sue gave me. So this this journal has a little bit of Sue in it. And then some just some collage cards stuck behind that, of course, um, you can write on the back of for the most part. Let's see. I kind of want that up and that like that. Some dyed lace paper. You guys were with me when I um, chose all the papers for the signature. Okay, and then there's a little um, altered paper clip, and it's got a little journal card tucked in there with a little dangle on it. And um, I've got a little tuck here with little envelopes, and I put a vintage receipt in there from... 1937. Okay. This is a piece of wallpaper, but I think it'll be great to write on. This little piece flips down and it's got a big long tag. 
more writing space. Then um, an envelope in the middle that I didn't glue, I left it for writing space yet again. And then it just tucks under this medallion and I, the colors in this just make me so happy. This is um, an old envelope that I made a double journal card out of. That is tucked behind this little collaged journal card that goes in this pocket. And got a little partial belly band on a page here with another little journal card in it. This is um, an altered paper clip and this piece of paper is tucked underneath and it um, just goes like that. This could be a tuck as well if you wanted to stick something else in there. Okay, little tuck space with a journal card. This is actually one of the tags from the um, flower shop, which we'll get to that journal in a minute. There are six of them. I got six all completely done. I couldn't believe it. Little belly band here with a um, index card. And again, one of the pretty envelopes that has some coffee dyed paper in it for journaling. So there's that one. Collage page, the other side of the old ledger, 1939. Um, this is uh, the Roxy's Weekly Challenge from last Friday. And I just have um, a pocket in a pocket here, a little, um, library pocket, a tag, and then it's got a journal card in the pocket. And of course you can write here. And then in the back, I have a collaged journal card. I also have, this is another one of the Roxy's Weekly Challenge that has this paper for writing on. And those go in the back cover pocket. I kind of had her tucked so she was peeking over the edge. And, um, and then it is, the closure is a pretty little trim that I just, I love the color of this trim with this, with this cover. So that's the first one, my favorite ephemera. I'm gonna keep that with it. So when I list it, I know what I'm doing. Okay, next, how about we just do this one next. This one is um, pretty much rose themed. It's tied with crocheted lace. And I made this journal topper at the retreat. I didn't have really a journal topper for for this one so um and this was using up some digitals from Artie Mays a rose from you and pockets from another kit this is a Roxy's weekly challenge piece there um this was one of the covers from under the big dot so under the big sky design <laughs> and um i made it with one of her kits and she included ruffles so i added the ruffles to this book as well this is uh another roxy's weekly challenge i put a long um bookmark in there or journaling stick whatever you want to use it as so um, here is some more ledger. I was grabbing that for everyone. Here's a pocket made from, um, Shabby Dabby Doo Dah digitals. This is Roxy Creations digitals here. And just made a double tag. And that goes in there along with the playing card. Some Mamagami paper. 
which I introduced to a couple of gals at the retreat, and that was exciting. Little, um, little glassy bag. This trim is from E Papery, and this has another one of Roxy's weekly challenges, and it's got a little pocket in the back with a couple tags. Lots of journaling space inside that. Um, an envelope to tuck receipts or whatever, memories in there. This is a, P, um, let's see, I think this is Vintage Studio 717, and it, I made a sack out of the paper. This cute little playing card, this came from my friend Lorette Chandler on YouTube. Um, a doily, some hand-stitched lace on a page. Collage page. This little pocket has, again, uh, this is a Roxy's Weekly Challenge, and I have one of these tags in here that opens up to a full sheet of um, coffee dyed paper, so lots of journaling space there. I feel like there's lots of journaling space in all of these journals. Another one of the fun little ruffles. This had something written on the page there, or, um, you know, printed on the page there, which was weird. And so I just covered that up. This little vellum pocket. And here is, this one is hard to get in and out, but it does fit. <laughs> this was a little card that um, I made into one of the Roxy's Weekly Challenges. See, it does go in. It's just a little tricky. It's tight. How about I do that later? I'll do that later. <laughs> this has a big old tag in it. Um, this part of the part of the page. We've got a little a little rose and an R in the middle of this one since it was pretty much rose themed. Okay, and another one of the ruffles. Here is a beautiful card by Maureen White, an, a local art, artist here. Thought you might enjoy that. And then this is a little flip out pocket that's got a bunch of journal cards in it. The pretty pages and a little journal card in this pocket and this is just the other side of the envelope I attached a collage board with a little girl on it tag in a pocket here the mamagami a little altered paper clip there. This is another shabby dabby doo dah pocket. This one, again, one of the big folding tags and a playing card. Except I want the I want the card to be out a little bit. There we go. On the ledger page. This is a little side belly band with journaling card here. And this is um, just one of the one of the pieces from the kit. It's all coffee dyed and I put a tab on it so it doesn't fall down and you can't get to it. This little pocket I had made a while back and then um, I just got a little card and and another playing card in there, all rose themed. And that's it, that's, that's the rose themed journal. Okay, tie that up and get it ready to be listed. Okay, now let's see, oh, I'm just grabbing whatever's next. So that is, 
This one, we'll see whose it is as far as the... Oh, this is Toque. This is her medieval um, kit. This is a collaged cover that I did. And um, we've got a journal card in that pocket. And, oh, there's a pocket without anything. That's the other reason I really like. This is a tag that I made at the retreat. We're going to just pop that in there. We find, well, maybe we'll, let me show you. These are, the, I, I finished making these. This is for a document journal. Um, this is just a collaged pocket from a window envelope that, um, that I just went ahead and did with my scraps there. And then I did a bunch of these. These were um, the Roxy's Weekly Challenge with the, with the paper. And um, I just had so many of them made up that I went ahead and did them. So that cute little girl. This one I think would go in here. Yeah. So I just made, I just decorated them is all I did at, at the retreat. Just went ahead and got a bunch decorated. So that was the ephemera I did at the retreat. And I'm glad I did because this needs a little something. Is that going to fit in there? No, it's not going to fit in there. So I need to use, like, this one would probably fit. Yeah, let's just, let's just use that in there with that little tag. And we filled that pocket. There we go. Then this flaps out. This is another one of those ones that opens up and um, has a lot of writing space. And then that flaps out and you can write there. Little tuck here. Oh, that needs a little tag too. I, I, this one I didn't do so good on, did I? I don't have any tags close by. I'll have to remember. Let me put... Just going to put a little mark in there so I remember to put a tag in there. But on this side is an ancient letter. It seems fairly ancient. I wonder if it has a date. 1860-something. So I put that little piece of vintage ephemera there. And then this is Mamagami paper. There's some more of the kit. Some more Mamagami paper. This is uh, the collage page. And here's another one of these that I put in here. And then a little tag in the pocket as well. And the old rag paper. And this little um, card, journal card, is in here. It's just a grungy piece of paper. Mamagami. An old, old um, onion skin. I put a glassine bag on it that has this little envelope. Oh, maybe I want that side up. I might. And then there's also a tag in there. So, that there. Then some more fun things in this one. This is just a double journal card with an old piece of paper in it. And that is behind in that pocket. Um, just some old, old charms in this one. This piece is um, paper clipped on. It's got a tag, journaling cards. This little bit opens out, I should show you, opens out like that. And you can actually write on the inside of it. So let's see here. I can get that back on. There we go. Okay, so there's that little tag pocket here with a tag in it. Here's a pocket with a notepad 
and a little um, sort of little notebook folio type of thing up there and then this has a notebook and another notebook two notebooks in that pocket as well card here journaling card um, this flips out oh, it flips out if the glue doesn't stick there we go and writing on this side and then um, just a little postcard journaling card tucked into the pocket on this side and another pocket here this is one of those things that opens up for lots of journaling space and a little tag collage altered paper clip with a little notebook and with a little tag there then belly band here with this big journaling card here and then this big one too and this is actually a double belly band so you could tuck something in the front there too if you wanted to but I kind of liked the look of that being behind and then another one of the big journaling space pieces here and this is actually a pocket here as well and we've got a little sack in the back with tag there a tag in the side and a journaling card so there is journal number three <laughs> Gosh. i know right it you know i was i was cooking right along okay this one is joey card makers flower shop digital and um fabric cover with a journal topper on it okay a little pocket here with a couple tags in it this one has fabric on it little lace journal card here the gorgeous pages Oh, they're so beautiful. This little, um, this was actually made by Tuke, but I felt like it went with this theme well. And then um, this little pocket has big tag for journaling and uh, one of Joey's double journal cards there. And then this pocket flips up for writing space there. And... And then this beautiful page came from Glue, Glue Patch Studio and pocket with journal cards. This little pocket has the journal cards from, from the kit and Here's a tag from the kit in this little pocket and a little card that says hugs and this little double journal card that's out of a piece of scrapbook paper. And then this is a lace page that we did for the little bits of lace challenge. This is one of these writing space on the back. And another one of Tuke's pockets with cards. This was something new, kind of. The, um, the uh, doily was too big, so I just wrapped it around and glued it, and that worked pretty well, I thought. This one has scissors and this pretty little bead with flowers that has the colors of the journal. Um, I'm not sure where that pocket came from. I just had it in my stash. A couple of, this is from Bookshop Shelley. A couple of beautiful tags that go down in this lace belly band. Journal card in this tuck. 
bunch of tags in this pocket. Some of the tags from Joey's kit. Double belly band here. And I've just got journal card. This one is has writing space with it. And those are in the belly band. This one, another one of the flippies, and it's got a little tea card and a double journal card and a big tag. This one tags in that little pocket. And this belly band has three specimen cards with flowers. And then this beautiful um, vintage card was given to me by my friend Betsy at the retreat. She said it needed to go in my flower shop because it's this flower shop. So thank you, Betsy. I think it's perfect right there. And then I just filled up the back pocket with some ephemera and such. So that's... The flower shop, Joey Card Makers Digital. That was that was super fun to make too. Yep, I had a good time just journal after journal making them. <laughs> okay, so then we've got this one. This is um, Nana's Garden, and it is Rach and Bella Crafts. It's a an old quilt for the cover. Have a pretty um, trim down the spine. And topper. Yep. Nana. Oh, sorry. Nana's roses, not Nana's garden. I put one of these Tim Holtz pockets that I've been having fun making. And then a journal card there. And... And then this is a piece from a Roxy's Challenge that I put in this little side pocket. The beautiful digitals. This, some old wallpaper, glass, an embossed glassine bag with big tag in it. looks like wallpaper but it's the digital this is the lace page that I made in the little bits of lace challenge and this I have this little um, journal card tucked up under this big journal card and then that's just slides down in the pocket um, belly band with a journaling card this is a piece of vintage wallpaper and then I have an envelope ar around the edge. Um, it's just tucked in. It's tucked into um, the journal card in the belly band. And this little envelope, and then it's got a journal card inside the envelope. Collage page. Little um, altered guest check in there. And this opens up its little just a little envelope floral book page a couple of tags in here I won't take everything out this is a lace journal card with tag then there's a big old big old double tag in this one with space for writing okay and then um, over the page paper clip, I put a vintage postcard in there. Hmm, I can't tell when this was. And the other side. The other side has some little journal cards in it. Lace doily envelope in the middle. And then um, got a journal card in this pocket and one of these with writing space tucked behind. 
Um, actually, this is another one. I used a bunch in here, but you know, it's great because there's a lot of journaling space. And they were all the right colors. <laughs> Here's one of those little envelopes and I put in here um, a hand stitched piece, little slow stitched piece. And that just tucks in there. And then this big um, pocket with this journal card behind and it's got all kinds of tags and all sorts of things. An envelope, journal card tags. Now that I put it down, I don't remember who made it, but wallpaper. This is the other side of the lace tag, and I have journal cards in there. I've got a little, little tag there. This goes in the first slot. This goes in the second lace slot, like so. A pocket with some tags, one of these pockets with a bunch of tags and then a bigger journal card in the back. And a belly band with one of these from Roxy Creations Challenge. And then, um, let's see, big old tag here. And it's got an envelope that's paper clipped and a journaling card in it for journaling. And then, of course, the first page of this was the Franken paper. And then I've got a little tag and a big piece to journal on in the back. That is Nana's Roses by Rach and Bella Crafts. And it is closed up with just um, a little bit of crochet there we put that in there okay we got we've got one more here guys one more <laughs> okay then there's this one um these little girls are from artsology i should say it's got the little journal topper and it's a collaged and sewn cover uh let me make sure i'm in a good spot Okay, and this came from, I'm not quite sure, not quite sure where that came from. Tags in a little bag. Pocket here with a Mamagami tag. And one of these little pieces from the Roxy's Weekly Challenge on the old antique paper. Hmm, can't think of where that one's from, I'm sorry. Collage page. I think this is from Triple V Vintage. Little belly band with a skinny card in it, or tag in it. One of these, um, little pockets and it's got journaling cards and um, the cute little girl and this is a little uh, a little envelope with a journaling card inside and a little tag in this pocket this is a Tooks craft table pocket and Tooks craft table is on Kofi not on Etsy Sack with big journaling card and this is coming up on Wednesday for the little bits of lace challenge I'll show you how to make those and we've got a couple little a butterfly and uh, we're all stories in the end just make it a good one little and special moments a little journal card in this tuck. Pocket and tag. 
little sweet girl journal card in this doily tuck here. Look, she's peeking out. A little um, pocket with tags. Tuck with a big journaling card. And the collage page. Another tuck and a couple of different journal cards in there. Go. And that's it. So that is the last one, I do believe. So these will all be hitting my Etsy just as I can with travel and such. The, um, the Alice in Wonderland ones will be listed first. They will be the first one. But yeah, not a bad stroke of business for this girl over the course of the, um, over the course of the retreat. So, whoa, let me just go crazy. Okay, so thank you so much for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this bon bonus video. So now I can get to work doing listings, can't I? <laughs> hope you have a grateful day, everybody. Be kind always. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.